just outside the medals boat, I think tonight I ran the best race I could run. And I think I'm very proud of that. It's very hard, I think, to do the double, especially having two 200 yesterday. But I'm glad I came out here and gave a solid, I gave a solid, solid effort. And you know, that was the fourth place. So I'm glad with that. And of course, I have to say, congratulations to Elaine as well, because 21 times, no joke. So, yeah. <laughs> Talk about the workload for the double. Uh, if you have to look back at this, would you reconsider doing the double if you had to do it over? No, I mean, definitely I would never reconsider because, you know, challenges is what makes us stronger. And if, if every time I step only on the track to do something that is easy, then I'll never challenge myself. So for me, once I'm able, the body is able, and the mind is willing, then I'm gonna go out no matter what are the expectations or the you know the statistics or anything like that. I'm gonna come out and give off my best effort. So I'm really pleased with that. So I guess I have to thank God for finishing healthy and now looking forward to the four by one. I'm glad you segue to the four by one. Are you on the re relay duties for the first round? No, yes you yes. <laughs> No, I don't. I, I, I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't know. If whatever happens and if it is that the team needs me and I'm ready to, to do it, I definitely want to make sure that whatever it is, I give off my best. And if that means resting for the heat, then I'll do that. But if it's a dire situation and we need to feel, you know, myself and Sharika, then I'll definitely find the strength to do that. Head coach Maurice Wilson and Paul Francis are the two coaches in charge of responsibilities for the women's 4x1. They haven't said anything to you as yet? No, we had a relay meeting um, when we came, but that was just concerning the pool and what they had to work with because of the new rules, you know, what they had to work with. So, no, not really. What do you want to say to the fans and family members back home now, Shelley? Oh, I guess thank you for cheering me, <laughs> for your support. You know, it has been a tough championship, especially in the 100, you know. I said earlier, I was, I was disappointed and I think as human beings, that's, that's what emotions are, you know. It's part of what makes us competitors and makes us line up and give up our best. So if every time I line up and intention is not to win and to give up my best, then it makes no sense you line up. You always have to put yourself in a position where you know that when you step anywhere you're contending for victory so you know i'm so glad for the support of my family my friends and my sponsors for just continuing to push who i am and continuing to support you know a lot of persons believe that you reach a certain age you have achieved so much why do more why not stop because i believe there's more to give and as you can see I ran 21.9, I ran 21.7 early, um, in, at the national championship I ran 10.6, I'm still running 10.7s and I think that shows that you know the power of just God and the gift and the talent that I've been given and when I'm ready I guess you know when it's time I'm hoping that somebody along the way has been inspired so thank you guys so much for your support and for your support of Team Jamaica no matter what the positions or athletes finish because I'm telling you, it's not easy. Mentally, it's not easy to line up and to compete. So, you know, thank you guys so much for all you do for us. And I hope you continue to cheer us on. So you're looking forward to the World Champs in Eugene next year? Yeah, pressure me so much. <laughs> yeah, pressure me. <laughs> yeah, that's the intention right now. You know, I'm not a quitter. And I think that's where I want to end things. Especially since it's so close to home, I can hopefully COVID the eye and I can get my family and everybody at the stadium excited to see one last dance. Wonderful. Shelly, you, you put on an excellent campaign here and trust me, your legendary status remains intact. Congratulations, all the best. Thank you. Alrighty. Shelly and Fraser.